A woman who had just undergone cosmetic surgery was tricked by her sons. Her mouth was gagged with superglue, but this was not a game. It was real torture and abuse. At first, two brothers were happily playing outside, rolled back and forth on the ground freely, and finally returned home covered in mud. In the living room stood a woman with bandages on her face, who claimed to be their mother. Because she had cosmetic surgery after a car accident, her face was still not recovered from the fine-tuning surgery and had to be wrapped in bandages. She warned the children neither to open the curtains nor to bring animals home. At dinner, mom only made the younger brother, so the elder brother whispered to his younger brother carefully that he wanted to eat too. The younger brother conveyed his brother, but mom only said coldly that he would tell me himself if he wanted. Her indifference made the brothers become suspicious of their mom, wondering if she was the same gentle mother she used to be. To find out the real identity of their mother, the younger brother sneaked into the bathroom and saw his mother. Her eyes were bloodshot. He was so scared that he staggered back and rushed back to his room. After that, mom shut herself up in her room all day long, lying in bed at all hours of the day and night, and didn't. They had to order takeout food and led a free-range life. But the good thing was that the younger brother was accompanied by his brother. Even without his mother, he wouldn't. One day, they found a wild cat in a cave, quietly brought it home and hid it under the bed. Just in case, they locked the door of the room, but their mother soon noticed their unusual behavior. Then she broke into the room and started searching. The cat was not found. Instead, she found a lighter on the younger brother. She confiscated the lighter and warned that children were not allowed to play with fire in bed. But even so, she was still angry and beat the younger brother. The elder brother tried to stop it, crying loudly, but she didn't, continuing to spank the younger brother. The brothers had nightmares on that night. Such brutal behavior made them even more sure that she was an imposter. So they decided to sneak into her room to take revenge on her. The woman was sleeping deeply. A big, fat cockroach suddenly crawled on her face, which was deliberately put there by the brothers. Just a short time ago, they learned it from the photo album that their mother had a twin sister and suspected that this bad-tempered woman was not their mom. Then they saw on the internet that their large villa was for sale which led them to suspect that this was done by the fake mother. The purpose was to drive them out, but before the fact was proved, they found that the kitten had been killed. Both of them agreed that only the fake mother could have done such a cruel act. Looking at the cat, they were so sad that they decided to throw the cat to save it. The mother, who was irritated again, threw the younger brother into the bathtub in anger. She then wrathfully dragged him upstairs and gave him a vicious warning that he was not allowed to talk to his brother again. From then on, the two brothers became very downhearted. They locked themselves up in their rooms all day long and didn't. Mom realized that her behavior had gone too far, so she took off the bandages and showed a gentle expression on her beautiful but unfamiliar face, intending to make peace with the two brothers. Both of them were now afraid of her, but under her pressure, they pretended to forgive her. Then they sneaked to the church and found the priest to ask him to call the police. But the priest did not believe their words and thought of it as their prank, so he sent them home that day. The mother was drenched to the skin by the heavy rain. She thanked the priest and also explained that because she was recently divorced and suffered a car accident, she neglected her child. The successive shocks made her on the verge of a nervous breakdown. She had to rely on melatonin to sleep every night. To her surprise, when she woke up the next day, she was tied to the bed by the brothers. The brothers finally seized the opportunity to trap their mother. They took out pictures and grilled her over the whereabouts of their real mother. Successive plastic surgery and facial fine-tuning made her appearance change dramatically, no matter how much she explained that her brother still didn't. Finally, they even threw water at her in anger. What? The younger son even used a magnifying glass to reflect sunlight on their mother. The high temperature easily burned her face, which had not yet fully recovered. Mom was moaning in pain. <laughs> at that moment, the Red Cross came to the house to raise money. In order not to be noticed, the younger brother taped her mouth. Mom saw the hope of being rescued, desperately trying to get away from the rope and call for help, but she wasn't until the Red Cross people left. It was hard to get the take off, and she cried out for help, trying to get their attention, but the staff had already walked away. Hopes were finally dashed. The brothers who had returned began to torture her again. They sealed her mouth with 502 glue so that she could not open her mouth. Then they cut her mouth open with scissors. The heartbreaking pain continued to torment her. Finally, she wet her pants because of urinary incontinence. Having no experience in cleaning up, the brothers had to untie her and let her clean herself. When the two brothers were talking, mom seized the opportunity to slip out. She made a mad dash for the door, but she ended up tripping over a trap and struck the ground heavily. Unconscious, 
She was glued firmly to the floor and surrounded by candles. Her face was covered in blood. All these injuries came from her child. The younger brother appeared next to his mother with a mask on. He held the candle, asking her the whereabouts of his real mother. This was because the woman, after suffering the death of a child, divorce and car accident, she would sometimes beat her son, which made the child, who was already mentally ill, worse. Finally, he took revenge on his mother. A little boy suddenly appearing next to the son was his imaginary brother to comfort himself. The mother looked at her son in front of her and finally realized that his condition had become very serious. She began to regret that she had not cared enough for him. Instead, she continued to wallow in the pain of life, which made her son even not know his mother now and only live in his own fantasy. The mother tried to talk to her son. When she was about to talk to him with emotion, he suddenly asked, as if he was possessed by evil, the Was macht Lukas grad? <laughs> poor mother could not see her older son at all. How could she answer this question? She lay down on the floor in despair, crying out loudly. When the son saw this, he ignored his mother and lit the curtain with a candle. The fire spread instantly, burning the mother to death. At the end of the film, the mother appeared on the lawn, embracing her to children and singing their favorite nursery rhyme. All this was actually her younger son. The film began with a revelation of the death of the older son, as his meal was never prepared at the dinner table. The successive shocks of life made the mother never recover from then on. That was why she neglected to care for her younger son and even often gave domestic abuse on him. The repressed and cold family atmosphere made him pathologically cruel. Finally, the karma was back to the mother again. A healthy and positive family atmosphere is vital to the development of children. Since parents choose to bring them into the world, they should take responsibility for their choices instead of ignoring and being indifferent to the feelings of their children. The question is, do you think that a child is determined by his divided by her parents?